like I remember my first hint to cold email was when I cold emailed Mark Cuban uh, back when I was in college. I was running an entrepreneur accelerator program and I wanted to speak at my event and I cold emailed him and he responded in a very nice way. He said, hey, I, you know, I'm swamped, right, so I can't, but thank you for reaching out. And that's when I was like, wow, you know, we could really get to anybody we want through cold email. What's the number one biggest, uh, um, you know, false belief for cold e email that you want to you want to tell everybody right now? That it doesn't work. And like I shared, it usually doesn't work. So they're not totally off. But that's if you don't know what you're doing. You know, if you don't know how to write an email properly, if you don't know how to follow up properly, if you don't know how to create the systems and automation to do it effectively, if you don't know how to, you don't know who your buyer is or uh, how to resonate with your buyers through email. Yes, it won't work for you. But if you know what you're doing, it can be a huge asset to any company. You know, Brett, even how me and you got connected was through a cold email. How we got on calls again with the MasterCard CEO through cold email. Um, I, I, we booked appointments for one of our startups last month, all through cold email. So if you know what you're doing, it can be a huge asset. Um, but because there's so much crap out there, which there is, most cold emails we get suck. They're not personal. They're too long. Um, they're, they're not targeted, all this stuff. And it gives that cold email a bad rap, a uh, bad reputation. But if you know what you're doing, it could be a huge asset. So that would be the number one biggest, uh, uh, I'd say, misconception around emails that it doesn't work. Because if you do it effectively, it can be a huge asset for any startup. Like a, a cold email is just we never knew each other. And then I emailed you cold. You know, you didn't, we didn't know each other, but I emailed you out of the cold, out of the blue. And then we were able to connect. Like I remember my first hint to cold email was when I cold emailed Mark Cuban uh, back when I was in college. I was running an entrepreneur accelerator program and I wanted to speak at my event. And I cold emailed him and he responded in a very nice way. He said, hey, I, you know, I'm swamped, right, so I can't, but thank you for reaching out. And that's when I was like, wow, you know, we could really get to anybody we want through cold email. Um, and then, of course, you could do more mass outreach, which is different, of course, than how me and you got connected, Brett, um, which, yes, more systems and automation and team members are involved in booking that. Uh, but no, cold email is just, hey, I don't know you, but I'm reaching out to you out of the blue and um, with, with, with to try to get connected in some way. OK. And um, by the way, any tips for that? Or, or what does it even look like with working with you guys? Like, do you, do you guys have the team professionals or team members already trained? And you say, you know, let's understand your goals, let's understand who your client is, your avatar, and then and then here's here here's here's our dream 100, Adam. Right? Here's my dream 100, and cold email and set appointments. Go. I mean, walk us through what that looks like if we were to hire you. Yeah, from our client side, it's really straightforward and simple. It's we have a, an hour call where we learn more about your business and who you want us to reach out to. And then we do everything from there. So we write the copy, we get new domains and warm up those inboxes so that you don't go into spam. Uh, we get the list. We have an in-house team that's always building out lists for us. And then we do the outreach and um, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. We take care of everything. And then when someone says, yeah, Brett, I want to talk to you. Uh, we book the meeting on your calendar. We forward you the email thread and then uh, you, know, you have the call. And it's as simple as that.